Hey guys, Cobble here, and I'm back today with another kind of tutorial. This one is on mini game scoreboards, or really just scoreboards in general. And this was suggested by, uh, well, this was requested by Sky the Reaper on my Discord server. Um, but anyways, so it's pretty simple to set up scoreboards, and I did it in my previous video where I talked about uh, scoreboard operations. But uh, we'll go over making a little, make it look a little bit nicer now. So we're going to make up a scoreboard. So when you're making a mini game scoreboard, what you want to do is you want to create uh, one scoreboard that's kind of in general used for everything. So we're going to, his, his situation was hide and seek. So I'll use that as the example. So we're going to do scoreboard objectives, add, and whatever something that is really simple for you to remember um, to play around with, it really depends on the situation. I just call it hide seek. Uh, man, I'm spelling things wrong. Hide seeker. <laughs> but then what you do is you type dummy. So it's a dummy type scoreboard. And then you type what you want it to look like. So I can do hide and seek. I believe that's what his example was. So now if I do scoreboard objectives, set display sidebar, hide seek, um, it will show up eventually. So now we're going to look into things that you might need for this mini game. So maybe you need to display how much time is left for anything to really happen. Uh, you could do multiple timers or you could just do one timer. I'm going to do one. And normally I tell the players like the players know what's going to happen. Because if they're in the lobby and it says 60 seconds until the game starts, um, chances are they know what that timer is going to mean versus when you're in the game and say you have a minute until the game ends. So we're going to do scoreboard, players, add, and then make it however you want it to look really nice on the scoreboard. So time, colon. I like to do time, colon, um, hide, seek, one. So now there is a fake player called time, colon, uh, with a score of one on hide, seek. So now it looks pretty nice. Now we can add color. We could have made this in color, like the words hide and seek in color. We could have made... Uh, yeah, we could have made the words hide and seek in color, but I'm on the new snapshot, so I can't really show you that. It's using uh, colored commands, but you can do it, and you can make it look a lot nicer. If you want to make the scoreboard uh, players look colored, do scoreboard teams add, and then whatever color name is. So say I want it to be purple. Uh, scoreboard teams options purple. Ooh, purple. And then we're going to do color, and then light underscore purple. And then we're going to do scoreboard teams join purple uh, time colon. So now anybody named time colon, which is just this entity, is going to change to this purplish pink color. So I thought that was pretty cool. That definitely, uh, it looks pretty nice. We can also add other things to the scoreboard objective. We could do scoreboard players set uh, hiders colon hide zero. Uh, hide seek zero and then we can also do seekers that's what you may need for this mini game um, and you can do scoreboard teams add red and you can also add gold and then you can do scoreboard teams option and we're going to make the gold gold and we are going to make the red red and do scoreboard teams join red uh, seekers and now we're magically getting colors on the board, which is awesome. Gold hiders. There you go. So now it shows how many hiders are left and how many seekers are left. Now, I will probably make a separate video for how we determine how many hiders and seekers there are, which is actually not that hard. Um, but I'll probably do a separate video for it. But I will show you how we make sure that we're able to do this. Because if you notice, you can't do slash execute at e score underscore hide underscore min equals one comma name equals time colon slash say hi so normally if if this was an actual entity named time colon and it had a score on it uh, something should work but it doesn't so what we do to fix that is we summon an armor stand summon armor underscore stand uh, one up here and i like to make it invulnerable just so that it won't break from any normal players that accidentally hit it so i'm going to summon this armor stand oh wait let me let me give it a tag so you want to also give it tags and in terms of mini games what i like to do is i like to have one armor stand where all the scores just get thrown on it if i have an extra score that i need in there so we're going to give this guy a call him hide or hide seek if you want um, and click it. So now what we do is now all the stuff that we're doing 
uh, to display on here is fake characters and all this stuff that we're, that we're actually dealing with real numbers uh, will get translated from that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another scoreboard for time. So scoreboard objectives add time dummy. And there's probably something already in the world called time. And then we can do a bunch of command blocks and do stuff. But whenever we want to mess with the time, we're going to do scoreboard players. Uh, it, it would normally be removed, but for this, I'll just do add at E tag equals. I'm not going over. Um, no, I'm not going over the actual use of these scoreboards. I'm just going over how to display them. Uh, scoreboard players add hide seek time one. So this is just going to add his time score of one, but you can't see it on the sidebar. So what you're going to need to do is create another thing to update that sidebar. So you're going to need a command that does scoreboard players operations at E. Uh, now instead of doing at E, you're going to put the name that you want this to be. So time colon, you want to update the character called time that's invisible. Um, you can do this using an operation. So you can execute at invisible characters using operation, which is really useful. So you're going to set his time hide seek score, which is going to be this reference. Uh, the hide seek references this scoreboard, which you can see in the sidebar. You set that score, which right now it says one, equal to at E tag equals hide seeks time score. And so when I click this, you will see the score going up, up and up and up. One, two, three, four, five. And that's pretty much how you do it um, at the end of, so you create scoreboards that are invisible to the player that they can't see uh, because you would normally have like, could be even 10, 20 scoreboards uh, in the world or more. Uh, but you could also have like three or four separate scoreboards that you want people to see in the sidebar. So to fix it so they can see it, uh, you use this thing, scoreboard players operations, some dummy name that's on the score, that's on a general scoreboard, uh, set their score on that scoreboard equal to uh, some entity score on a separate scoreboard. So you're moving the scores so that people can see it. That's all you're doing. That's all this is. I'll put a link to, I'll put like a copy of this command and it'll just say like, uh, it'll just, oh, I'm having some lag back on my computer because I just started it. Um, but let's see. So we'll just have like name and we'll have main scoreboard, uh, is equal to at E tag equals, uh, I'll just put tag, uh, and then secondary scoreboard. There you go. So the point is, you have some random name of an entity or of some random name that you want to see on the original scoreboard is equal to at some entities score on a second scoreboard. So that's how you make these kind of cool looking sidebar things. I hope that was useful to you guys. And I hope that was useful to you, Sky the Reaper, if you're seeing this. Um, but that's, I hope that was everything that you wanted. There was probably more that I could have gone over in terms of mini games, but there is a lot when it comes to mini games, a lot of things to, that are essential. Uh, this is one of them. But anyways, guys, thanks for showing up. I hope to see you soon. I'm working on, um, I'm going to be working on a new video uh, that's going to be not necessarily just Minecraft. And I am working on a new mini game that's almost done. So we're going to have some live streams of that in the near future. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all later.